I'm a little stressed out and I can't go outside because it's snowing too hard. So I thought I should do a basic gun safety course because a lot of people are buying guns because they're stressed out about World War III. And um, because, I mean, I, I seriously, you have to understand there are a lot of people that blame the Americans for everything. And this American was saying that someone needed to basically release a biological weapon. And then next thing you know, a virus breaks out right before the Chinese New Year the biggest travel holiday in the, the biggest mass human migration in the world. And all I'm saying is it's a very weird time to have it. So anyways, I looked at this NSSF list and it says, always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. That's true. Um, so my rule is always have it in a holster. Um, cause this is loaded and it's not pointed at me. See, I always have it pointed in a safe direction. Um, usually that's down because if it, po if you point it up and it goes off, it will come down eventually. Um, a lot, firearms should be unloaded when not actually in use. That's pretty reasonable. Um, so I have a, um, I was going to show this thing. This is not loaded and it's, it's uncocked. And I, that's the big thing is it's storing it uncocked. Um, I agree with that and it's not pointed at me and, um, it, and, and, and while I'm on video, the bullets should be in the other room. And that's the same thing as if I'm cleaning the gun. Um, like, I will put the gun in the other room. Or I'll put the bullets in the other room. I will, like right now, I don't have, well, yeah, I do have my magazine in my pocket. But that's because I'm not cleaning it. And that's and it's definitely not leaving its, leaving its holster. But um, how do you clean a gun? So you get a little gun cleaning kit. And you use the anti-corrosive everywhere you can. And then you wipe it down. So in my... In my bag here, I have a, a towel. To, uh, this is my greasy towel. So this is for wiping it down after I've rubbed it with like everywhere that's metal. And then I, and then I um, will use the lube in the barrel and I'll lube. Um, I don't, I don't want to break down my gun. Actually, I can real quick because I'm going to have, I have the bullets way over there. And um, so I will use the lube right here a little bit baby bit um just a tiny bit but um this is going back away i don't want it out i don't want it near me um but it's unloaded anyways so um like especially when i'm on video like i don't want to play with a gun i don't ever like that's the thing it's like it's hard to get good with a gun unless you practice drawing and dry firing but it's hard to practice drawing and dry, dry firing um without accidentally shooting it eventually. And that's why it's like, at some point, um, you, you get comfortable with the gun by going to the range and then you leave the gun and you don't touch it, but you have to know the gun. Like you should be able to break down your gun. Um, you should be able to clean it. Um, and why do you clean it? Because one of the rules on this list is if your gun doesn't fire, um, treat it like it's about to fire. So your gun is pointing away. You shoot it. You're shooting it at the target. It doesn't fire. Do you look at it? No, you, you, you get really nervous and you try to, you'll, you'll try to cock it and try to clear it, but you always keep it downrange. And no matter what, the gun should always be downrange. But more than anything, the big thing is just keep it unloaded um, and treat it like it's loaded. Because like, like I said before, this, you see how the triggers moved up? This could be, have a bullet in it. It doesn't. You can see it because like you can, you can rack it and leave it like this. And this is a great way to store your gun also. Um, but um, I think I think it's important for people to know like that um, you don't just buy a gun. You're like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm nervous about World War III. I'm, I'm worried that the CIA did this, which they didn't. I'm telling you. Like, but like it sure, it sure seems suspicious that um, with my behavior the way it was before the outbreak happened where I think it's like, it's like, gosh, it sure seems like it was us. And that's why I'm like, I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking about how I've acted and I'm like, Oh, we look guilty. And then I'm thinking there are a lot of people buying guns and what are people going to do with their guns? They're going to shoot themselves. Oh no, my hair is awful. And I don't want people to shoot themselves. And that's why I'm saying always away from you. Keep it unracked. Like, uh, make sure it's uncocked, but I have, I have two locks on this, uh, where, where this, this gun is stored. Um, 
it's like my other gun, this thing is not leaving its holster. I'm not pulling it out for you guys because it's in a holster. It's got its safety on and um, my, so it's got a safety and then it's got a holster, which is my safety because I can't touch the trigger while it's in that holster. And there are people that trust holsters all the time um, to protect them from having their gun go off. And so that's the big thing about that. Um, I'm sorry that I'm talking about guns, but I'm, I'm actually sitting here going, dude, I feel like we have caused a panic and there are a lot of people that are worried about World War III and there are people that want to buy guns and stuff like that. And if you do, um, you have to understand, you're more likely to shoot yourself or a member of your family than um, you are to shoot a robber or something. And that's why you should have a safe. It should be locked up. Um, but if you carry, it should be in your holster and like, um, and okay. And the reason I mentioned cleaning it is because cleaning it keeps it from jamming it. Like it keeps it from jamming. So if you clean your gun, you don't have to worry about you're shooting the gun. And it doesn't shoot. And you're like, Whoa, I'm so nervous about trying to fix this gun. Um, because when do people hurt themselves when they're like clearing a gun or something like that? Um, but yeah, you should go look at the rest of the list on the NSSF website. Uh, I don't want to make this a very long list, but that's my 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 my, my main point is keep it down range, um, keep it uncocked, keep it locked. Um, know your gun by going and practicing with it. I understand it's expensive. Well, if it's expensive, then what you need to do is have one bullet, load it in the in, and and load it in the or, or two bullets at a time. So practice loading it cocking it and everything two bullets at a time and that's what I did when I first started shooting is every time I shot I'd load two bullets in the magazine I'd cock it shoot twice um, clear it get it all ready and then reshoot again and that way I'd get used to loading it up um, and so um, that's a good way to save money 